Okay, I'm gonna be tying a small five inch pattern. Very simple fish to, or fly to tie. Uh, a couple requests for this pattern, so uh, my video work's not the best, I get it, but you'll get the idea of the, um, how quick and easy it is to tie. All right, this is an Attitude 2 odd hook from Partridge. And I'm using Beavis Gel Spun uh, 150 denier. So always wrap the eye of the hook. Rack down. I only go as far as the point. I know sometimes some flies will bring it back further just to get the length. I don't need to have long enough bucktail. And I also bring it back up about another quarter of an inch before I tie off. So essentially breaking this down into a uh, third so the back half will be your first one third two third and your whole final piece so I'm using really long long bucktail as I can get for it because I'm tying up close to the eye and I'm not using a lot so that's what I got I'm grabbing my tips thinning it out and it really is not a lot of hair it's if you look at the diameter of that tiny clip it clean and I'm tying in straight back trying to keep the hair on top of the hook there that's as far as I have to tie back. Cover up all the ends. I don't mind using extra thread because um, it helps protect it from unraveling. Keeps it a little stronger. Now I'm taking some... You can use crystal flash. This is like a fine, fine flash glue that I actually found at the dollar store. And uh, it's the exact same. Moves same in the water as any other small flash glue. Um, tie this in at a 40 60 split. 40% back is my first tie. Pinch it, pull it down tight. Two wraps. Pull it over and I do wrap right on top of it just to keep it down nice and snug. Then I'm wrapping up to my two third point. I don't know if you can see that very well. Maybe my lighting's not that great, but. Okay. Because it's really light. The hook does a lot of work keeping it keeled. That's why I don't want to put too much on it. I want to keep this fly sitting right in the water. So you'll see my next tie in on top will be, as on this one, a thin little bit of squimpish fiber, squimpish hair. And on the bottom side, same as this, you'll see how sparse it really is. There's not much to it. It's uh, some ripple ice dub. So I'll start with the squimpish blend. I take about half the thickness that I want because I'm going to fold it back so that'll give me the full thickness. Very thin. Pull any of the little loose fibers out. You don't get a whole lot of loose stuff with the squimpish and I'll tie it back so that it's just in line with the tips of the bucktail. So I'll tie that forward. With the half, uh, the sixty percent forward, the forty percent half, or sorry, forty percent back. And then I take my ripple ice dub. This is a UV pearl. Take a decent bit because I'll lose some when I'm straightening it out. So I pull it through to keep all the fibers. It's kind of like combing it out to get them all in line. Once I get the amount I'd like, um, I'll start off 
with about half of what I took there. Like I said, I don't want it too bulky. I just want it to get that little shimmer in the water. So I turn my vise upside down. And then tie it in at the same point as I tied the squint fish so that my thread is running straight up and down perpendicular to the fibers themselves. Flip it back over and pull the squint fish hair back. It's doubling back on itself and this is where you can see the 60-40s. It goes a little bit longer than the bucktail. A little shape. I'll pull my thread up and now I'll pull the ice dub back. Now I'll wrap forward. I try not to wrap on top but just in front of the material. If I wrap on top what happens is you don't get any body from it. It just flattens it right out and then you lose that profile in the water. So, a couple wraps to keep a little dam on top. Pull it back. And now to get that little extra green shimmer, I use some chartreuse uh, ripple iced up. Not much left this pack, but I should have just about enough to do it. Same thing, straighten out the fibers so that they're all now squeeze them a little bit, pull any loose stuff, get rid of that. Now I'll lay the hook sideways. So this is gonna be essentially kinda of act like a cheek. So I get around once, twice. And what I do is I carry that over the top. Try not to get my hands in the way. So I pull that over around to the top here. And then I tie it off on the, this side. So if you're looking down it, from the top of the fly down, this dark squimpish at the top, it's even on both sides. I'll tie that back. And really pull on this thread. That's why I like Beavis. It's uh, extremely hard to break unless you're really doing something wrong. So now I'll take that other stack that I had of the ice dub. This was the UV Pearl. And I'm going to use. Uh, sorry, that was the yeah UV Pearl, and I'll put a stack of the UV Pearl. On the bottom again, uh, 60 40. So I'm going uh, 40 in the back only because I want that to help pop the front side up. So 60 40 split, same as I did with the flash. So the shorter hair going back first. Because I'm going to trim it down, I don't need the length. I just want to make sure that this is, if this helps keep the fibers up so the fibers have more movement in the water. Now this is the part where I get to add a different color. It's the same ripple iced up but this is the pearl green. It helps blend in with the chartreuse. So same thing. Stack them. You're not using a lot of it. You're just using enough so you need a little shimmer on these flies and it creates a little bit of bulk up near the front. Same thing. I go right over top of it as if same as you're stacking deer hair. Up and around. Pull it really nice and snug. Okay. Now what I do is I bring my thread up and it creates a little bit more of a space here. This little space will be filled when I pull it back, but it also gives a seat to glue the eyes on. Keeps them on a nice and sturdy. Okay, flip that back around. So right now it looks kind of like a little bit of a mess. Then I go back to my squimpish. This is like a gray uh, blend. I can't remember the exact name. If you haven't used squimpish flies, stuff is deadly. You can do 60 40 split again so it will be shorter it won't make it to the end on your first because you're 40 percent up by the time you tie the rest back it'll taper it nicely for you 
tiny thing, a couple of rats over it, pull it tight. Now you can kind of flatten it out a little bit on top, just so it's not too sparse on the sides. Now same as before, you're going to pull the squimpish over, and you'll see this one brings it right down, nice taper at the back. Pull your thread up, around, pull your ice dove back. it out with your fingers a little bit get a couple wraps in front you don't need a whole lot but you want enough to make sure that that eye is all or the thread is up tight and closes any gaps in the eye sometimes them hooks have a little bit of a space that your leader can slip through if you don't close it finish. Now let's do two with finish. Second one doesn't have to wrap as much. Okay. Now if I can find my comb is right here. Brush some of that there out. Watch your fingers a little. Enough, you can see the kind of shape you get. Now, um, you, I'm using these eyes. They're about uh, quarter inch, three eighths. They're not uh, not huge. They're probably a little bigger than I need, but that's all I have. Super glue the gel is the only super glue that's waterproof. Um, you can epoxy it too. I just for video sake, I don't bother. Oh, super glue sits, uh, sticks nice to both the squimpish and the ice dub. This one over. So if you have a little space in here where you see a little thread, it's not a big deal. Your eye covers it up and it actually helps the eye sit nicely. Now, I do go over at the end. And I will hit it with a little bit of UV uh, resin as well as I will cut back a little bit of this fluff. You don't have to. I just find it's uh, the way I like to do it. Fluff it out just enough. Easy little bait fish pattern, little heron pattern for uh, striped bass. Um, I'm using Raid's app, it's what I have in. I think they're all comparable. I like to get some right around the eye so that it covers on top, so I'm not relying just on super glue. And. I like to keep that actually up when I go to set the glue so that it keeps the head a little wider on top. So rather than pulling it back and losing all your profile before it ever hits the water. And that's it. I know my lighting and my camera work isn't great, but it was requested, so that's all I can do for you. Good luck.